All right, friends, it's um, it's Tina back with another video. Part, I guess it's what is this, part four? Part four protein synthesis exceeds that breakdown. Look at all that meat, bro. It's stacked high. Look how rare this is. Oh my god, you can't believe how rare that meat is. Look at that 3D effect, broski. That guy loves me. The guy at the grill, he loves me because I'm like. I know what I want, man. But anyway, we were just discussing something over there. Look, man, there are many ways that you could build muscle. But the most efficient and the smartest way, I discovered, if you're asking me, I discovered that if I were to work out my entire upper body once a week, right, I could get this damage to come back. When they say in science, unaccustomed exercise is known to cause widespread muscle damage. But then it's protected by the repeated bout effect phenomenon. A whole bunch of things are just working against you. Full stop, myostat, satellite cell. They reach the ceiling limit during hypertrophic process. Beyond where it can donate any more extra nuclei to that domain to support further muscle growth. We know that we need these nuclei to synthesize more protein. That is muscle cells. You need more muscle cells. You need more myotubes. And then you need these nuclei to attach the myotubes to synthesize protein to make those myofibulars bigger, bro. Get it? But like I said, you need a lot of protein. You need a lot of nutrients to build those muscles. And in muscle damage, uh, you can work out once a week. And during that week, during the repair and the remodeling, protein synthesis is extended for the entire week and blood levels are elevated. That's why it's more intelligent. Let's say, let's say I cause massive damage to my muscle fibers on the day, right? Okay, science tells you you're going now, going through a repair and a remodeling, right? Protein synthesis is extended for an entire week and blood levels are elevated. So what are you doing the rest of the week? Building muscles. You don't have to come into the gym and be a lifting slave anymore. And when you come back, you'll be bigger and you'll be stronger and those weights will feel lighter and you can keep lifting heavier and heavier. You're building more natural, real muscle strength. Get it? And muscle. You're not building any phony stuff that's just going to go away. Oh, well, I just want to get mass on the myofibular. Yeah, you can get mass, but it'll shrink. You're always shrinking when you lift in the gym, especially adapted. You just, what are you doing there exactly? Do you have a plan? I have a plan A and I don't need to move for plan B. Get it? I don't need to look for plan B because plan B, plan A always works. But you people, plan A is not working for you. So you're constantly looking for plan B everywhere. All these people that come there, these lifting gym slaves, it's plan B, plan B, plan B. You know what I mean? They have a program for you. I have this for you. A rep is going to build a muscle or whatever. None of these things are going to work. But like I said, that's that's how I learned it. I do something that's more efficient, faster, quicker, and more intelligent. I don't want to waste my time. Get it? So yeah, and I don't want to waste my food, my time, or anything. So why would I do that? I have to do it in the most efficient way. See you in the next one. Tell me what you think about that. Breaking to failure there. I'll see you in the next one. Ciao, friends.